I bought these country style ribs on Markdown at Food for Less. Um, they were seemingly fresh, so I went on with them. Um, I've had them in my freezer though, and uh, so I thawed them out, and that's what we're gonna cook. I don't particularly care for the garlic taste um, when I'm making gravy, so I won't add any of that at all. It'll just be seasoning salt and black pepper is fine. Since this is the rest of the flour that's left in this bag, I just decided that I'd go on and use this because when you're making pastries and stuff, you really don't want to use, um, you know, freezered flour. And a lot of times I store my flour in the freezer, but that's the all-purpose flour that I'm not going to use for my pastries. Just a quick tip. It's too much. Nah, I just have to wash my hands because it's going to take way too long to do all that. Uh -uh. We're pretty much just going to sear them because we're going to smother them down so we don't need them cooked all the way through and through. That won't be totally necessary because they're going to cook down in the ninja so we don't need to cook them too hard.
that is a little bit more because it is pork so and it is thick so you want to cook it and constantly rotate it slow heat so I have it on a 3.5 and you want to constantly rotate it around and flip it around so that it's evenly seared all around the circumference of your strip. This remaining flour here, I'm going to put it in my freezer and just save it for another time when I'm going to fry something else. I'm going to move this off of our burner to allow it to uh, kind of cool down while I get these onions ready. But what I want to do is pour off that grease into something else because I don't need that grease. Just a little droplet of it to saute our onion. So I'm going to pour this out. Okay, I've just left just a little bit of oil left in there, but we don't want it to continue to cook on that burner. So we're just going to put it there for a minute while I get some onions ready to go in it. The onions don't have to be perfect or anything like that. They're going to cook down anyway. So you don't have to concentrate on what your onions and stuff are looking like. We didn't go to Cardone Blue. This is home cooking. It's going to saute those onions just a little bit, and we're going to take some onion gravy mix, two packs. I'm also going to take a can of chicken, uh, cream of chicken soup. I got this on markdown. As you can see, it's kind of tatted up, but I got it on markdown for 79 cents. So we're going to put some of that in here. I definitely be making sure I get all that product. You always want to have a spoon rest nearby to rest your spoons and stuff on and your utensils so that you just don't leave them 
on your countertops and stuff while you're cooking. I'm going to put some water in this, but i got to kind of stir this up a little bit before it gets too far ahead of me here. Got the rest of that product out of the can. We're going to take some Worcestershire sauce. Now you're going to take this mixture here and we're going to pour it on top of our country style ribs. guys. Okay. We're going to cook this on a medium. First, we're going to plug it up. Look like. That's the first thing we're going to do, Egypt, is plug it up. It's not even plugged up, mommy. How you going to just do anything if you ain't even have it... You ain't even have it plugged up. You got the refrigerator door wide open. Mama, you're not going to do nothing until you do that stuff first. Got it. Okay. So we're going to cook this on high. Well, no, let's go medium. We're going to go medium on that. And we're just going to let it cook while we get the rest of our stuff ready. Let's get started on this rice and this spinach. To get started with our rice, we're going to take... Some cream of chicken soup. We have another one. And we're going to put that inside of our pot. I'm going to put some water to remove the rest of this product. We're going to use this can again so we need it fray because we're going to take some chicken broth and sprinkle a little bit inside of our can here okay and we're going to put some more water in our can auntie how much did you put well I didn't measure it as you can see I didn't do any measurements at all but I'm always an eyeballer, so I'll just kind of know, you know. When it comes down to rice, you're going to double the quantity of liquid to be rice. So that's, and it's pretty much just gauging, though, 
But one thing about it, though, anytime your rice isn't done, you just simply continue to add some fluid to it. Cook it slow. Don't let it dry out completely. So you got to watch it, you know, because once it dries out completely and it begins to stick together and whatnot, then it's kind of hard to go back and fix it without now making it mushy. So you don't want to do that. So, I hate to disrupt your hearing with scraping the bottom of this, so I'm just going to kind of swish that around a little bit. And what I'm also going to add is some chopped onions. I'm going to end up putting more water in there than what's in there now. I'm just telling you that now. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. Okay. Yeah, and especially when you can scrub the bottom and you come up with product, you know, and seasonings and stuff, that's when you know, okay, it's not too watered down because it still has to cook down a little bit. Yeah. In fact, though, I am going to put a little bit more broth in there. Yeah. Okay, we're going to let this come to a boil. Don't worry about all of the lumps and all that stuff because as it begins to boil, they will pretty much boil out. So, don't worry about those guys too much. Let me rinse this off. We're going to use a drop of oil from the country style ribs. We're going to take our spinach and pour off half of the juice from the can. And then we're going to put the rest of it inside of our garlic and onions. And some seasoned salt. We're going to allow that to cook down in its juices while I close the refrigerator. <laughs> We're gonna cut it all the way down on low. It's been cooking now for about maybe 20 minutes. So we're going to cook it for another, say, 15 or so on slow.
I don't know exactly how much fluid I have, but I do know that it's about mm, at least four cups of fluid. So this should be about two cups of rice. But I also like to wash my rice before I add it to my dishes. See, rice can be dirty. Rice can really be dirty. See, it's still dirty. It's better. Cook it very low for about 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's done. Let's cut it off. I guess I could have got a different type of spoon that didn't have holes in it. I really just wanted gravy for the most part. This is my portion. From my home to yours, Bon Appetit family.